Hi guys. Okay. I kind of look like a drowned rat because I took a shower and I don't have my glasses on because I don't I don't know where they are. I don't know. But this is the first time you guys are seeing my hair. Um, let me know what you guys think. I will have videos going up after this video that I have long hair in. They are pre-filmed, but I just wanted to get that out of the way. I have bare face because today we, I'm so excited, we are going to be reviewing the Jeffree Star Bloodlust Palette. I could not be happier. Now, I don't really play with purple eyeshadows, however, it's Jeffree Star and I had to get it for collector's purposes, but I'm excited. Now, the only thing I did get was the eyeshadow palette. I didn't get anything else from the collection. I really, really wanted the highlighter, wasn't able to get my hands on it. So I just got this. Now, let's just jump right into it. So you open it up and it looks like this. Oh my gosh, look at that packaging. Well, let's take this palette out. And then like he said, you have the little protective barrier, which I will be keeping the box for display purposes. And this is what the actual palette looks like. It is that crushed velvet feeling. I love that. Hopefully it won't get dirty easily because that's, I have a magnetic palette that is this crushed velvet and it does get dirty really easily. But this is what it looks like. So, so pretty. And then it has a clasp right here and you open it up. Da, da, da. And you have a giant mirror and then a little protector. Let's take that protector. Ooh, that's a, like not just a, that's not a flimsy protector. That is a thick protector. And that's the mirror. It does have a little protector on it as well. I won't take that off. And this is the eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm excited. This is gorgeous. Let's do some swatches. I will go row by row just to make it easier. First one is Your Majesty. And then we have Take the Crown. And then the shade is Deviant. And then we have Beauty Sleep. And then this one is a new formula Wet Jewel. It's not showing up very well on camera, nor is it swatching very well. I think it'll be better if I just like pat it instead of like rubbing it like I am. That's not really showing up the best. But then this one is Royal Pain, very, very pretty. And the middle row, this first one is Dungeon, and then we have Scandal Water, and then Sworn Enemy, which is like a really pretty gold. You kind of can't see it. It's like a greeny gold, really, really pretty. The next one is Pink Magic, which is another new formula. And again, that one's not really showing up the best on camera. If the camera's not really doing it justice. And then this red, which is Bleeding Heart, which it's supposed to be like a shimmery red. However, it you can't really tell on my hand. And then that black is ex Executioner. And it's got like purple glitter in it. It's gorgeous. This is the next row. It is all mattes. This first one is High King, which didn't swatch the greatest. And then we have Vivid Mood, which is probably one of my favorite shades. And then we have Monarchy. And then Blood Queen. All very, very pretty. Definitely shades I'll be dipping into today. What the heck is on my face? And last but not least, we have Vile Serpent and Betrayal, which Betrayal is a really pretty purpley, shimmery shade. That was the entire palette swatched. I'm so excited to dip in and use this. Let me take these swatches off, put my hair back, and we'll start priming and get right in. Okay, hair is back and y'all are scooted in close. What we're gonna do is start off with priming my eyes. Now, I'm gonna prime my eyes using my Jeffree Star Magic Concealer because that is the way Jeffree does it. I'm just gonna take this and, oh, wrong side of my mirror. I did not wanna see that. Just go do, do, and blend that out. Okie dokie. Eyes are primed. Let's dip into what y'all came here for. I am seriously so excited. Like I said, I don't play with purples very often, but I do love a good pastel lilac purple. Now, I don't even know where to begin. Granted, this is a purple palette, so we will be playing with all the purples. I won't be dipping into like the red or the gold or anything like that. I want to stick to straight purples. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and we are just going to blend into Deviant, which is this shade right here, like a lilac purple, and just blend that all up i'm gonna use the mirror in the palette to make my life a little easier just kind of blend that and take it all the way up i need to keep in mind i have to go to work after this so whatever eye look i do is what i'm wearing to work but oh well oh that shade is gorgeous i love a good lilac purple i'm not the biggest fan of dark purples but lilacs oh yes please 
please. And I'm just building it up. I'd rather build it up than have to, uh, you know, kind of blend it away because I made a mistake and added way too much. We're just wanting something like that, taking it just below the brow bone. Just something like that, just purple base laid down. And then I'm gonna take a smaller detailed brush and go in with Scandal, mm, go in with Vivid Mood, which is that shade right there, and blend that in the crease, keeping it closer to the crease. So we have something like that. And then I'm gonna take Blood Queen, which is that shade right there, add a very small detailed brush and just blend it right in here. So, so pretty. And then we're gonna cut the lid out using that same Magic Star Concealer. So we have something like that. And then on that, I'm gonna take Pink Magic, which is that shade, and we're gonna put that all over the lid. I'm gonna do that using my finger because I'm assuming it applies best, I'm not trying to flip you off. I'm assuming it applies best with my finger. Oh yeah. That new formula is gorgeous. Look at that. It's so wet looking. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye and then I will be right back. That shade is put all over the lids. As you can see, we got a little bit of fallout from it. Not anything crazy, but I'm going to real quick clean up under the eye. So we have something like that. And then I want to deepen it up and do kind of like a purple wing with it, one of these shades. And I think to do that, we are going to take... Actually, you know what? I have a purple eyeliner in the shade You Better Work. Do we try that? Will that ruin it? Let's try that. I'm gonna take You Better Work, which is not from this collection. However, I'm going to take this deep purple and create an eyelet. eyeliner real quick, and I will be right back. Okay, eyeliner is done. I kind of stabbed myself in the side, so if it's watery, I'm sorry. Uh, I really like the way that looks. I'm crying because I stabbed myself in the eye. I'm not gonna do any of my base on camera because this video is already decently long and I don't want it to be overly long. However, I will real quick tell you what I'm gonna use. For primer, I'm gonna use the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. Foundation will be the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation in shade Porcelain. And then concealer will be Jeffree Star Magic Concealer in C2. And powder will be Jeffree Star Cosmetics Powder in Fair. Bronzer will be my Hula Benefit Bronzer. Blush will be my Tarte Party Blush. Highlighter will be Jeffree Star Wet Dream. Setting Spray will be uh, NYX Bear With It Professional Setting Set Prep and, prep and Set Spray, Jeez Um Lip Scrub, I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Blue Raspberry Lip Scrub. And eyebrows will be my Benefit Cub Brow, my Benefit Cub Brow, I can't speak words. And then I'll come back to finish up my lips and eyes on camera. Okay, base is done. Let's move on to finishing up the under eyes. I am excited. Let's take the star of the show and go in with the shade, let's take High King and blend that under the eyes. We're gonna keep that really close to the lower lash line. So we have something like that, and then we're gonna go in with another shade and blend it out. And then I'm gonna go in with a very small detailed brush and take the deviant shade and just smoke that out. Okay, so that's all blended out. And then we are going to take the Your, 
you know what? Let's take beauty sleep and apply that right under the eyebrow or right under the right on the brow bone. Jesus, Peach, I cannot talk today. I'm just trying to use as many shades as I possibly can. Oh my goodness, so pretty. It's like a duochrome pink purple. It is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at that. And then to highlight my inner corner, I'm gonna take the Wet Jewel shade, which is the new formula, and we're gonna try to pop that in the inner corner. I'm gonna try it on a brush, but I am gonna wet my brush because I think that might work a little better because I can't really get my finger in there to just apply it in the inner corner. I think that really did help. Okay, let's pop that in the inner corner. Oh yeah, look at that. Do you see that? It is so pretty. I'm kind of just patting and wiggling. So when I put it in, I'm just wiggling it. So it like presses itself on there instead of just swiping. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. This is the finished eye look. I'm in love. Okay, so I'm going to real quick put some mascara on. I'm probably just gonna end up using my Sephora Big Volume Mascara. And then I'm gonna apply lashes. These are Lashy Box Lashes, 3D Silk Lashes and Cake. And then for lips, I'm going to apply the I'm Nude Liquid Lipstick by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And then I will be back and I will tell you my final thoughts. Okay, you guys, that is the finished makeup look. I was not able to apply those Lashy Box lashes, so I just ended up going with my Ardell uh, Foaming uh, Lashes. They don't really have a style or anything. I just went with these ones because I know these ones and I know they're easier to apply. I was struggling with those other ones. You know, I could really use some more bottom ma lash mascara. Jeez, oh peach, Jasmine, you didn't apply very much at all. Okay, now that I have spider webs in my lower lash line, let's finish this review. Okay, you guys, this should come to no surprise. I'm in love with the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. Look at this eye look I created. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm excited to see what the other shades look like and play with them. I definitely think this won't be a palette I'll use every day because of the shades. However, I will definitely get a lot of looks out of this and you can do a lot of neutral looks because we have like this shade and this shade and you know you can play around with that and we have a white to kind of bring it all together and then you have these pastel shades you can you know do a color in the crease and then take a pastel shade on the lower lash line and something easy like that like that'll be easy it's definitely very versatile and you don't even have to get a purple look out of here but i do think the packaging does wipe off easily i love the packaging it's very luxe and gorgeous i I'm in love with this eyeshadow palette. Jeffree Star does not disappoint. Let me know what you guys think down below. Did you guys get this collection? If so, let me know if you've used it. What do you think of it? But that is all. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.